beautiful day for fishing. We are coming to you live from Spokane, Washington, the Spokane River. We are at uh, what Military Cemetery Park. So a little walk down to the water. Let's see what we get. It's supposed to be a 90% chance of precipitation today, which means I'm gonna get wet. Hopefully we catch something. And we're walking. Going down a nice trail. Tell you what, you got to work to get into the good spots. Well, there it is, right there. The mighty Spokane River. All right, my first hole looks pretty good. We got a little bit of current right through here, a little back eddy. So it might be, uh, it looks fishy. Looks very fishy. I tried to stream her through here and I really couldn't do much so we're gonna go with a couple nymphs so I got two nymphs on there hopefully you can see it it's pretty wet out here so it's definitely not the best fishing conditions but we'll just see here I got a lot of debris behind me trees whatnot so I can't really do much of a back back cast so we're gonna have to do a roll cast out there All right, first fish of the day. God, it's a beautiful freaking, look at that river. Let's look at this fish. All right, so in the Spokane, they have rainbows, but they also have what's called a red band, which is a native fish. Let's see what we got here. Uh, looks like a rainbow. Oh. Pretty guy. Nope, oh, still got a little fight in him. I did not bring my net. Big fail. Kind of slender. They're not as fat as on the Yakima. Not sure why, maybe the water's colder. There we go. Beautiful fish. Beautiful colors. All right, we're gonna let him go. Boom, oh, made us wet. All right, that was fun. Let's get another. doing is trying to give a good natural drift we're on the lower end here so we're just gonna feed it line see what happens okay nothing strip back in we can also just power load it right out there boom fly fishing you don't want to cast all that much the more you're doing this the more chances of getting caught up behind you Getting a loop in your line, tangled up on something. Ain't nobody got time for that. So the water here is pretty good. It's about walking speed. Gotta make sure you're mending. Make sure you're mending. I'm feeding it line here. Oh, there we go. Ooh, got one. Oh, he's a jumper. Little guy. Ooh, yeah. We like that.
rainbow. Oh, little guy, but ooh. oh, come on. Like I said, didn't bring a net this trip. Forgot it in my truck. Come on. I'm going to let you go. All right. Beautiful fish. Right in the top. Barbless hook. Nice, easy release. Very important, guys. Catch and release. If you're hungry, go to Safeway. Get, get something to eat there. But we're out here. We want to protect our fishery. We want to catch as many as we can. Let them go. Barbless hook so that way they stay healthy. And there we go. Let's see if we can catch another. All right, got another one. Got him kind of on a swing a little bit. I was on the tail end of my drift. I don't think this one's all that big, but even a little fish, fly fishing's fun. It's got some red in it. Oh, oh, I think that's a red band. Ooh, he's got some size. Oh, now he's putting up a fight. Doesn't like being near me. I think this is a red band here. Oh, he's got some size to him. All right, we like that. Yep, that's a red band there. Man, nice. Look at that. That's a good size one there. Ooh. All right, we're gonna. Good rule of thumb, don't forget your net. Yep, that's a red band. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that. Good size. All right. Okay, I'm gonna bring him, I'm gonna get a picture of this guy, so. All right, thank you for watching. Got another one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. I'll tell you what we're gonna do here. Alright. Barbless hook, it should just come out pretty easy here. Now there we go. Alright. There it goes. I'll get you again, brother. All right, we're at a nice little stretch of the Spokane River. I've hooked up with three, and they seem to be about right in this little spot. So, And it's always on the tail end of my drift. Make sure you're mending, feeding it line, and boom, it's happening.
Ah, oh, rockfish. Or whatever. Stickfish. Alright, there we go. That's where we want to be right there. When you get a good successful drip or drift, just take it down a couple feet. We can go a little bit further here in this gas. So try to section your spots. Like you get a good drift right here. All right, try to get a good one three feet over. Because three feet over might just be the fish of your dreams. Right at the end, and just kind of let it let the line kind of pull over. You'd be surprised how many you pick up right at the end there. Nothing. Got a good one. I think he took my dry. Oh yeah. I got him right in this spot, right over here. He feels good. Now they use the current to their advantage, so he could be small, but he feels like he's got some size. Now he's coming in a little bit. Uh -huh. Yeah, buddy. All right, we're gonna let this guy come in here. Oh, no, oh, stay out of that current. I wanna see ya. Oh yeah, well, that's where he's going. So we'll let him go. All right, guys, so we, the Spokane River, man, it's right here in the middle of the city. Oh, yeah, he took my dry. Oh, yeah, that's fun. 
All right, we're gonna take him over to the side. Oh yeah, that's fun. Yeah, that's a red van right there. Look at that beautiful red coloring right there. Beautiful. What a day. All right. Oh, my dropper's hung up over here. Mm -hmm. All right, buddy, I don't have a net for you. There we go. Beautiful fish. Off she goes. All right, that's a wrap. I just wanted one more, but can you really blame me for leaving? Holy crud, look at this. Nobody out here. art looks like a rest in peace chance so tip my hat to you brother wish you well all right this is brooks from the gypsy uh, fly fisher so new channel figured uh turn a hobby into maybe just something to do really um but uh come to you uh from the spokane river second time i fished it first time i've actually had any success so caught about six or seven today um, the weather forecast was supposed to be 90% chance of rain, which it did rain on me. Uh, also mentioned something about like 30 mile an hour winds, but so far so good. Uh, been pretty lucky. So beautiful day. Uh, I've been using, uh, dry droppers, um, using a bobber, you know, you know, strike indicator, um, with about three, four feet to, to a nymph. And so it's been a great day um i'm out here by myself there's nobody around and you got to remember this is spokane all right we're not far away from the city so if you like to fly fish and that's what you're into and you live in spokane or you're somewhere nearby you're kind of missing out man uh absolute gorgeous uh terrain i mean here check this out i mean there's nobody well there's a tent over there so probably some hobos living out there who knows i I haven't seen anybody moving around, but uh, I got my gun on me. I'm gonna cruise by there, check out another spot. So hopefully nobody starts any problems. Um, but anyways, um, I can see some fish rising. They're a little too far out there for me to cast, but uh, I might uh, throw a couple uh, dry droppers out here, see what happens. So anyways, thanks for uh, watching the show and uh, I had a great time. So tune in again. Uh, if you liked what you saw, like, subscribe and i'm gonna try to do this about one time a week you know uh this is a side job i'm a actually er nurse uh by trade so when i can get out i will get out and uh hopefully as soon as i can figure out how to edit videos it will be uploaded so anyways uh, take care and uh get out there do some fishing bye